Hey guys, and welcome to episode 2 of this Montreal Expos Relocation Franchise Series. We are here at Fenway Park today, taking on the Boston Red Sox. You see Vlad Guerrero there signing some autographs. And I decided to kind of add a filter to this series, um, being that the Expos are an older team. Uh, I thought I would add kind of an older feel to the videos. So, as Austin Meadows goes down swinging right there, next up is Jose Martinez. So, let me know what you guys think about putting this kind of filter thing on it as Martinez hits one deep to left field. And it is gone as the Expos take an early 1-0 lead. Um, I've been going back and forth on how I want to continue this series. Um, you know, editing down a gameplay is taking me upwards of two and a half hours, which I don't mind doing. Um, especially where the first video got 105 views um, in a week. So that's not too shabby is that ball is off the green monster for a double. And I was watching another YouTuber who is also doing a Expos uh, relocation franchise. And he is doing it to where he's playing critical situations. Now, I don't hate that idea. Um, you know, I could get a lot further into it. I could get a lot more games in. And, again, not that I'm... Not that I mind the editing, but it also is a lot down or a lot less to edit, which means I can get videos out more frequently. Like I've been pounding out the Road to the Show series like crazy, um, but and I'd really like to be able to do that the same thing with this. It's just I need to be able to have a day off from work where I can sit down and edit this vi the franchise videos, whereas the Road to the Show videos I can edit, voiceover, and piece together in you know not long at all. That is a 1-2-3 inning for um, Charlie Morton. Yandy Diaz up now. So just let me know what you guys think about that idea. Um, I think I might do that for episode 3 and then just see which video, I guess, fares better, I guess you could say. Um, so yeah. I do have another three episodes of Road to the Show all set and recorded. Um, I just got to edit them and voice over them. I'm thinking about getting all the edits and voiceovers done tonight. That way I can schedule the uploads. Because um, I wouldn't mind getting on an actual set schedule at some point here in the not-too-distant future. As the runner is out, Diaz is out at the plate. What? And that is going to be an inning-ending double play. So, no runs, two hits, one man left on, at the end of one and a half, it is one nothing Expos. And Bogarts hits that one off the green monster, and that is going to be fielded into second base. And I thought Bogarts may have went for two, but he ended up staying at first. Swinging strikeout. And on the ground, fielded to second for one, back to first, not in time. And the runner is safe on the fielder's choice. Alex Verdugo up. One one count, two outs in the bottom of the second inning. And that ball has popped up to shallow right field. Second baseman back on it now, and that is going to end the inning. End of two, one nothing expos. Next up. There's Willie Adamas flying out to center field. Back to the top of the order now with Austin Meadows. Struck out looking his first time up, and that ball is hit to center field. And that is going to be caught by Jackie Bradley Jr. Jose Martinez is going to be up now. Solo home run back in the first. Let's see if he can build on that here. And now it's going to be hit right to the third baseman, Devers. On to Moreland. At least I think it's Mitch Moreland. Vasquez, Bradley Jr., and Benintendi coming up now. Ball hit on to second. One quick out. 
Jackie Bradley Jr. with a 1-2 count now. And the pitch from Martin is swung on and missed strike three. And the shortstop botches that and gets the runner in time to avoid the error. Next up is Vlad Guerrero, Jorge Posada, Jorge Posada, and Manuel Margot. Vlad Jr. Er, not Vlad Jr., but just Vlad. Looks like the um. Looks like the edit the. Transitions are a little wonky, but that's all right. Vlad Guerrero pops up to Bogarts in left field. Next up is Hip Hip Jorge. And the pitch is swung on and hit to right field. Back goes Verdugo, looking up, and that is wrapped around pesky pole and gone. Home run, Jorge Posada, as the Expos take a 2 to nothing lead. Or rather, extend their lead. Manuel Margot hits that two center field. Jackie Bradley is under it, and that is going to be two outs. Next up now is Yandy Diaz, the third baseman. Had a double in the second inning. And that is going to be a single. Hit into center field, Brandon Lowe. And that ball is off the wall. Diaz is going to come around and try and score, and he is going to be safe. So last time he tried that, he was out, but that time he did score as the Expos extend their lead 3 to nothing. G-Man Choi up now, and hit popped up. Two right field, Verdugo is underneath it, and that is going to be the third out of the inning. So at the end of 3.5, it is 3 nothing Expos. Coming up is Petey, Martinez, and Bogarts. And that ball is chopped back up at the middle for a base hit. Pedroia reaches. Next up, J.D. Martinez. Ball chopped, or popped up rather, not chopped up. And caught. Xander Bogarts up. Dustin Pedroia on first. J.D. Martinez out. Looking for the double play. And swung on strike two. And swing and a miss. And swung on and miss strike three for that one too. So Adamas Meadows and Martinez coming up now in the top of the fifth. 3-0. The 1-1 one, one count is swung on and hit to center field. That is going back, and it is still going back, and that is going to be up against the wall. Meadows running second. He's heading for third. He is safe. I'm sorry. Th this is Meadows here. That was, G that was uh, I believe, G-Man Choi. That ball is hit to left field, and that is it going to get down? It is not, but the runner is going to tag and advance and score to extend their lead four to nothing. <coughs> Next up is Jose Martinez. One on. I'm sorry, no one on, one out. Runner across already. And that ball is hit to left field, left center field, and that is going to be up against the monster now. Jose Martinez is going to try and get a double, and he is out. Tried to stretch that single into a double. Did not work. Vlad Guerrero up now with two away in the top of the fifth. And that pitch is swung on and hit to left field over Devers' head. And Benintendi is going to field that back in quickly. 
and holds Vlad Guerrero to a single. Next up, first off, Ryan Weber coming in now to pitch to Jorge Posada. 1-1 one, one count, two away, one on first. And that pitch is swung on and hit deep to right field. It is high. It is far. It is gone. A two-run home run for Jorge Posada as the Expos extend their lead 6 to nothing. Next up is Yandy Diaz. I'm sorry, not Yandy Diaz. Manuel Margot. Next is Diaz. Margot hits that one two first. And the pitch from Rubber is swung on and hit to left field. And Ben Intendi is going to get there for the third out of the inning, but not before the Expos put up another couple of runs to make it six to nothing. Chavez, Verdugo, I miss the other person, coming up now, and down goes Chavez, next up is Verdugo, oh, so Michael Chavez is playing first base, not uh, Mitch Moreland. And that pitch is swung back up the middle, but right at Brandon Lowe for out number one, or out number two, rather, Christian Vasquez, the catcher, hitting 214 on the season. 1-2 count from Morton. Is swung on and missed strike three. Quick 1-2-3 inning for Charlie Morton as Brandon Lowe, G-Man Choi, and Willie Adamas are coming up. Brandon Lowe hits this 1-2 right field, but Verdugo is there one away. <clears throat> G-Man Choi now hit into center field, but Bradley is there. Two quick outs for Ryan Weber. Seems to have settled down after allowing those couple runs. Willie Adamas hits that one to center field. And that is going to be caught by Jackie Bradley Jr. So a quick one, two, three for the Expos and at the end of Five or, or yeah, five and a half. It is six nothing Expos with Bradley Jr., Ben and Dustin Pedroia coming up to bat. Jackie Bradley Jr. 0 for one with a strikeout back in inning number three. Two one count. And the two one is swung on and a hit to right field. And Verdugo or not Verdugo, Vlad Jr. No. Wow, guys. Vladimir Guerrero is just going to watch that one sail on out of here. Don't even know why I got Vlad Jr. in there. Probably because I haven't had to say Vladimir Guerrero in a long time. Anyway, now, the 1-2 to Benintendi. After Morton stares down his catcher, Jorge Posada. The 1-2 is swung on and missed strike three. Dustin Pedroia up to... Or I'm sorry, one on. No, one run, one out. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm struggling this commentary. It is chopped back up to the pitcher. Morton fields that one onto first to get the out. Next up is J.D. Martinez. Two outs. The 2-2. Two -two. Is swung on and missed strike three. And that will end the inning. So one run on one hit. No errors. No men left on. At the end of six, it is 6-1 Expos. Top seven coming up. Austin Meadows leading it off. <clears throat> and Austin Meadows hits this one to right field. Verdugo is going to get there for one out. Jose Martinez up now. And hit right to Xander Bogarts. And that is going to be two quick outs for the Expos. Vlad Guerrero up now looking to do something here. And that ball is hit deep to left field. That is over the monster, folks. A long home run. 
Beautiful shot. And we're going to watch that replay. I mean, the second I left the bat, that was just gone. Completely belted. Gross staring it down. Weber knows he's screwed up. That is the third run he's allowed. And look at that. It just went up and fell straight down. Heath Hembray up now. Man, the Red Sox could not hold on to their gloves today. And that pitch is hit deep to right field now. Again, wrapping around the pesky pole. Up on the freaking cola deck. Or in the game, the Boston deck. Jorge Posada with his third home run of the game. 445 feet, 115.3 exit velo. Have a day, Jorge. Perfect, perfect. Next up, Manuel Margot hits that one to center field. Man, dug in towards right center. And that is going to get down for a base hit. Margot going for second, and he is going to be safe with a stand-up double with two away. Yandy Diaz now. What can he do? The 2-2 two -two is swung on and hit back up the middle with the help from the mound. It is in for a base hit. And Margot scores 9-1 to one Expos. And that ball is hit into left field. Yandy Diaz going for third. He is safe. Men on the corners now with two away. Ryan Brazier. Can't hold on to his, can't hold on to his glove either. And G-Man Troy pops this one up to Christian Vasquez. Or is it Michael Chavis? It is Michael Chavis. And that is three outs, but not before the Reds or the Expos put up a three spot thanks to two home runs. And that ball is going to rattle up against the green monster now. As that splits the outfielders. Runner heading into second base. He is going to be safe with a leadoff double. Next up, Rafael Devers, and he goes down swinging. I believe that was a walk, actually. And Vlad Jr. just botches this one. One run scores. In comes the throw from right. Wild throw, but thank God there was a backup. Only one run scores, but there are only there's only one away. 2-2 two, two count, looking strike three. And popped up to G-Man Choi, who is going to get there for out number three. So rather unscathed in that jam. Only one run, one hit, one error. Two men left on. At the end of seven, it is nine to two Expos. Willie Adamas leading off the top of the eighth and chops that one to Xander Bogarts. One shortstop grounds out to the other. One away. Next up is Austin Meadows. One one count. Is swung on and hit to left center field. Benintendi looks to be underneath it, and he is for two outs. Jose Martinez now looking to provide for his team, get a little extra insurance runs, even though that's the last thing they really need, because they're doing great this game, and that ball is going to be hit to center field. Jackie Bradley chasing it. Jackie Bradley is there for three outs. Benintendi, Pedroia, Martinez coming up bottom eight. Andrew Benintendi, 0 for 3, strikeout in the 6th inning. Again, Morton just staring down Benintendi. The 1-1. One, one. Is dribbled back up the 3rd baseline for a base hit. Gets by Diaz. Benintendi going into second. He is going to be safe. <clears throat> Next up, Dustin Pedroia. Caught looking strike three. J.D. Martinez. He goes down swinging. Two quick strikeouts. Xander Bogart's now trying to avoid three strikeouts after the leadoff double. And that is going to be hit foul into foul territory. And G. Troy is not going to catch it. 
And Bogart throws down looking. Three strikeouts after the leadoff double for Charlie Martin at the end of eight. It is nine two Expos. Vlad Jr. up. The 1-1. One, one. Vlad Jr. back up the middle to Jackie Bradley Jr. And that is going to duck down for a single. Vlad Jr. having a hell of a game. Jorge Posada up now looking for home run number four. Can he do it? The 2-2. Two, two. It's swung on and hit to right center field. Back goes Bradley Jr. And it is gone. Four home runs. Jorge Posada. And Manuel Margot to Alex Verdugo for one out. Yandy Diaz up now. The 2-2. Two -two. Swung on and hit to center field. Ducking towards right center field. Bradley tracing it. He is not going to get there, and that is going to bounce over the wall for a ground rule double. Darwin's and Hernandez, the only Red Sox pitcher to not drop his glove today. Brandon Lowe waiting for the pitch. The 1-1. One, one. It swung on and hit to left field. Ben Tendi is not going to get there. Men on the corners. One away. G-Man Choi up. G-Man Choi tops that one to center field. And the runner is going to tag up in advance and try and score. And he is going to be safe. 12-2 to two now. Willie Adamas up with two two away, full count man on first. And that ball is hit to right center field. Right center field seems to be the target today. They're going round and around and around the bases. Safe, but uh oh. Adamas gets caught in the caught in the rundown for the third out, but not before the run scores, so it's 13 to 2. And in comes the GOAT, Mariano Rivera. Not a safe situation, so just looking to get a little work in here. First out is going to be a fly out to Vlad Guerrero. One away. And the one-two count is swung on a miss strike three. Alex Redugo now. Red Sox down to their final out. Rivera trying to get another strike out here. The 2-2 is swung on and missed strike three. Ball game over. Expos win. Charlie Morton gets his second win on the season. Expos remain undefeated. All right, guys. So this has been episode two of the Montreal Expos Tampa Bay Rays relocation franchise. I hope you enjoyed. Again, let me know what you guys think about uh, doing critical situations and also this more or less filter. Uh, if you guys like it, if you don't like it, let me know. Um, and we will do what the general consensus says. Um, not sure if I'm the biggest fan of the filter. I'm not going to lie. Just simply because it's kind of hard to see everything that's going on. As you can see, I had a few uh, voiceover bloops there. But oh well. Anyway, guys. That is going to be it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed once again. Got some more Andy Rocket coming for you guys soon. As well as some more Expos franchise. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell as you know one way to help that channel. Look at that stat line on your way out. Eight innings pitched, five hits, 15 strikeouts for Charlie Morton, one walk. And I will be talking to you guys later. Peace, I'm out.